let's talk about something important that I want to discuss. Uh, so many different things that I want to talk about. And there are things that I um, disagree with in this personal development world of ours, right? And I don't like the concept and or the idea, right? But we all need each other because we humans... Um, if we don't interact with each other, we start to decay or to, what's it, my friend call it, um, deteriorate um, if you let it too long. That's where, how, why Japanese suicide rate are so high because of uh, the, uh, because they're, they're highly by, what was it, in 2014 on average, 70, uh, Japanese uh, people died by suicide uh, even every every day, and majority were men because they are uh, alone and you know and because they don't uh, uh, develop deep connection with people. And here's the thing that what um, irked me in the personal development world: just because someone say something negative. Or we quote unquote saying negative, but they're just helping you in a way, and they're not really, um, then they, they care about you, and you should listen most. You should listen to their feedback, right? Because, uh, so a couple of months ago, maybe in February, I was so I was going down. Um, my mental state wasn't okay, uh, and uh, my friend can see that. But also, I wanted to see. Who would be there at my worst um, time? Um, because people who are there at your worst time um, and they still stick by you, that's a true friend that you should value. So I start playing with him again because uh, I built a couple of decks that I want to build just to play with him. Uh, and I enjoyed it. But, you know, I enjoy being with him. You know, I, I like to socialize with People who have deep, like, I like to have deep uh, conversation, um, and I like to talk about things, and I just don't want to talk about, like, the, uh, I know that you should let people talk about whatever they want to talk about, and that's their thing, but for me, I need, like, intellectual things, but when I'm with him, we have fun, and we play Yu-Gi-Oh!, but also, he tell me the things that he, what he see, uh, what happened to me, you know? And during those past uh, time, uh, he helped me with that. And that's a true friend that I value. So people talk about, um, I saw a quote, and people say you should walk away um, when they don't see your value. I disagree with that because everybody has value, right? And I was reading, um, what was it, Laugh Your Way to Marriage, and it talked about um, we oftentimes, was it, uh, like, people value things, but I think that you should uh, look at backwards, right? We should value people, not value things, because ultimately, um, what toward the end of our life, what matters? What, uh, I don't know many people what matters to them, whether it's a legacy that they want to leave or... Uh, change the world or a purpose or their dreams but ultimately is the people either who you have help who have changed who you loved who who stick by you even when um when things go wrong right when you know they support you and care for you right and those are the people who you uh should stick by and not give up on them and i think that too many, um, th uh, too many people don't see that there are value within relationship. That people think that there are the wrong relationship, but many relationship teach us who. Uh, uh, when we get into relationship, it teach us uh, what it teaches the worst of us, right? Teach the good of us, and everything in between, right? And that's life. Life is messy, right? Sometimes people talk about law of attraction coming together, but sometimes it goes like it's messy. And sometimes, you know, the road, it's so many like t 
turns and twists. Like that's why too many people are afraid to get into relationship because um, it's 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 like people talk about relationship. It's people think it's supposed to be easy when you love someone. It's supposed to be easy. Right, and then if it's not easy, what end up happening is you give up on them, or um, you give up the person that you de- love dearly and you care about, and 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 um, laugh your way to better marriage. What end up happening is um, we it's like um, he's talk about uh, th- we live in a th- here we go we live in a throwaway world. We throw everything. When I was growing up, repair shoes were not hard to re- find. Shoe repair. Television repair, uh, applicant repair, and watch repair were commonplace. Today, that isn't true. When was the last time you had a pair of shoe fix? Who repair torn socks in? Unless you have an expensive watch, you just throw away the one you have when it's quit working. We throw every th- we throw er- away everything today, even the things that should never be thrown away, things that designed to last for a lifetime, like marriage. Um, and I think that people... At the end of our life, what matters are people. Um, and that's who should we keep is not based on we who we think that has value. Everybody has value. We should keep them because the way, not just the way that they make us feel, but they care. It's just like family, right? We don't, some um, uh, families are, I don't know, but uh you don't throw away families unless they're really hard whatever but you don't throw away family and whether it's uh, what was it Jackie Chan said family is not not just by blood but you you don't throw away families because you care about them you just, I, I think it's also an Asian thing where um where you don't no matter what your family do whether you know where your family laugh uh you know um, what was it, mad, uh, at the end, of um, sad, whatever, at the end of the day, they still care, you know, they still love you, even though sometimes, you know, whether you, um, you or uh, other, they get on your nerve, but you still love them, right, and you don't throw away that, and it's terrible to, you know, like that, right, and also, I want to talk about, um, in this book, talk about certainty is the enemy of growth, right, now, I was thinking back uh, when my first time of kissing was terrible. When I kissed my ex, it was uh, messy. Like, new experience is supposed to be messy. And sometimes, you know, I'm afraid, right? I don't know. Uh, and, I like, it's my mind. I want to be certain of things. And sometimes it can trip me up uh, because of my past experience and blah, 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 blah. And... New experience is supposed to be messy, so I remember my first kiss, oh, when I kissed her, it was messy, right, like, our teeth hitting each other, teeth, and, um, I remember first time holding her hand, and it was weird, uh, hugging her was weird, cause, um, um, in my family, we don't hug each other, it's, it's weird, but when I went to um, job, um, trade school, whatever, bonus, whatever you want to call it, you know, my f- friends start, uh, like, friends hugging me and start, uh, like, doing stuff, and I was like, okay, this is weird, I'm not used to it, but then I got used to it, right, and so, let's talk about that we all need each other, and I think that if you, you know, if you confine yourself and you don't you know have they say right i was listening because I, I wanted to they say that if people if single people keep being single they will die faster right than married couple because um and i, I read many books on um a couple of relationship books they say marriage help uh your health live longer than single people because you do see single people who die faster um, especially in Japan, right, so that's single people, they're alone, and I remember I was watching a YouTube video, and 
there's a couple of YouTube videos that I watch for Japan, and it's very, very sad, right? Um, and th there was one guy, old guy probably, he died alone, right? And he could have, uh, he had probably relative and family that he could have hang out, and, you know, his niece keep telling him to, uh, to s see her or something, but he didn't want to, so he ended up isolating himself, so he, his mind and, um, his, uh, I guess, it could kill you, and so, it's the same thing, there was these, uh, J uh Japanese cafe area where people who are, felt, I don't know, are rejected, from society or something, I can't remember, so they're alone, but they, uh, I guess their family rejected them or something, I can't remember, but they feel terrible and they want to die or something inside, so we do need people in our life to build deep uh, connection, and I now, v people, the only reason is that people don't, v people, look, I, for me, uh, everybody has value, right? I don't think, uh, I don't think, for me, I, for me anyway, um, I care deeply, even though sometimes, because of the person I am, and, you know, I say things that I don't mean, and because I get afraid, and I am, you know, I get, because of uh, my past, and I fear it, because it was painful, those moments, when, you know, people who... People always talk about you should walk away from situation when it no longer serve you. But in the book, Laugh Your Way to Bear Marriage, when you deeply love someone, you shouldn't give up on them. Like, that's no way to do that. That's why most couples, most people um, give up on too soon. And I truly realize that. And I'm glad, for me, I'm glad that my friend, who uh, stick by me when I'm at my worst, stick by me when um, <laughs> my thoughts are not organized. And I felt like, wow, that's a very great friend. Um, and I realized that because it, you know, it takes a very long time to deep uh, connection, right? Because first, you don't know the person it's, um, many times you keep going, and of course you have, uh, because for me, um, if people who are, I think that people who are there at your good time, but not there at your worst time, and they, and, you know, they leave you, that's not really, um, they don't, it's not they don't value you, it's that they don't care. But if one people who stick by you, even in your worst time and good time, that means that f they really care for you, and they value you as a person, they really deeply, like, really like you as a person. Because here's the thing, right? Because, you know, I was talking to my friend, even though uh, sometimes we, you know, <laughs> talk stupid. I enjoy his company because, you know, we have... I, of course he know me, right, I love to have fun, right, that's the only thing, right, I like to joke, and, and he know me, and I know him too, and I like when he talk about, uh, when we play cards, he's like, come at me, bro, come at me, bro, but he tell me the truth, that what I want to hear too, not just the, um, the feel good moments, I want to him to tell me the fucking truth, so I can see what I can fix within myself, right, because I don't want a fucking yes man all the time, you know? And because within these things, it's not negative. It's so you can improve. It's just like comments or um, uh, criticism. People say, you uh, you know, for me, I value that so I can change myself, right? And I don't like that. I mean, I don't like, um, because it's hard to change, right? So when people, and at the time when you're at your worst, you don't want to hear it. Right, especially sometimes for me too. At my worst, I was like, "Fuck, man, this is so hard." But I realized it's necessary that they tell you the truth. That they say, "Hey, wake up, 
you suck at this time and this time point um and you're not looking too great and then pick up you know they're there, they're not just there for your cheerleading but they're there to tell you you know the things that that's what a real friend do right it's you know i'm i'm at, you know and i cherish those moments and so people talk about you know, if they don't value, you know, the quotes, if they don't value, you should walk away. I highly disagree with that. Because if you, if you keep walking away for, from people who, you know, are quote unquote negative, you will be walking away from great people who could, you could have meaningful, um, deep relationship with. And you keep walking away from other people. What end up happening is you will die alone. Um, and then uh, even all the, for me, I, it doesn't matter. For me, achievement could be. People care about achievement and dreams and stuff. Dreams are important. Purpose is important. I don't know if legacy, but p- at the end of the time, for me, I value. What I value is to be loved by someone, to be loved by them, and to be accepted. Now, people always talk about, oh, you know, all that you know, if they, whatever, but at the end of my life, I don't want to die alone, just like suicide, that's terrible, now, most people will talk about, oh, it's great to walk alone, but sometimes, you need people in your life, you need people, or you will die alone, and no matter, uh, uh, you know, how much, uh, accolades you have, or the awards, or none of those matters, at, toward the end of your life, what matters is people, your family, your friends, yeah, so that's my thoughts today, and, you know, when we're learning something new, it's uncertain, when we're, uh, we're not supposed to know because it's scary, right, learning is, learning is about the unknown, it's about risk taking, and, you know, I'm afraid, and I don't know what's gonna happen, and, like, I get so afraid, right, because I don't know, it's like, <laughs> I keep looking at my past, and I was like, fuck, it's like, once upon, it's like, fuck, man, but, toward the end of your life, what matters is people, not the things that should be valued, but people that you value, that you love, that you care about, that should be a uh, thing about in the personal development world, my thoughts today.